highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Crooks River History Group. Our aim is to preserve and promote local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. In 1794, Sarah Nelson, the free settler wife of convict Isaac Nelson, was granted 15 acres in the vicinity of Malvern and Dixon Avenues. Small grants were made along Parramatta Road to James Brackenrig, Dennis Connor and James Eads. Lieutenant John Townsend, Samuel Terry and Augustus Alt were each granted 100 acres. Captain Thomas Rowley's land, later purchased by Alexander Riley, covered most of today's Croydon and Burwood. During the 1860s, the area attracted affluent residents. In 1863, Cicada, which still stands in Queen Street, was built by Henry Richard Webb. The Sintra Estate was established by Walter Friend in 1863. Captain Henry Fox's Evandale was erected in 1868, now the site of Blair Park. Humberstone, built for John Dawson, a leading Sydney solicitor, in 1869, was later occupied by Witchbury Grammar School. It became St Anthony's Home, run by the Society of St Vincent de Paul, in 1925. Retailer Anthony Horden constructed Shubra Hall in 1869. Gads Hill Villa in Highbury Street was built in the 1860s by L. Bergen. Premier Henry Parks purchased a portion of Brighton Farm and called it Croydon Park. A petition for a railway station was made by Parks and the Mayor of Ashfield, Daniel Holborough. In 1874, the Sydney Morning Herald reported, A few favoured individuals have had sufficient influence with the powers that be to obtain the creation of a platform situated less than a half a mile beyond Ashfield. A railway station called Five Dock opened in 1875. After the station's construction, Parks subdivided his land. The station's name was changed from Five Dock to Croydon, reflecting the name of Parks' estate. As early as 1877, flood-prone land at the junction of Croydon Avenue and Cooks River was reserved for public use. It was proclaimed Croydon Park in 1888. A village emerged north of the railway station around Edwin and Elizabeth Streets. A congregational church was built in Edwin Street. The clay and shale of Croydon led to brick-making with deep and extensive quarries. In the mid-1870s, Anthony Horden established a brickworks in Webb Street. He leased this to the Cottle family in 1879. Two years later, Croydon Steam Brick Company was established. Subsidence in the deep shale pit of these works swallowed the fence and portion of the grounds of Croydon Public School in 1930. The brickworks closed in 1947. The huge pit was used as a rubbish tip until it was bought by W.E. Smith, as a site for a printing and carton making factory. The Excelsior Steam Brick Making Company Limited operated from 1890 until 1918. It was used by the council as a white gravel quarry, then filled by garbage disposal. Today, Ashfield's centenary sports area. The Burwood Brickworks in Sheltenham Road opened in 1913. Their closure in the 1970s marked the end of brickmaking in Croydon. The site is now Wangle Park. The first formal service at St James Church was held in a tent on the current site in 1882. A church designed by Edmund Blackett opened the following year. In 1891, a transept and chancel were added. Winola a neighbouring home designed by Horbury Hunt in 1883 for Grazier Andrew Broad was acquired by St James in 1926. Croydon's growing population led to the opening of Croydon Public School in 1884. Croydon Park Primary School was established in 1886. In 1891, the Presbyterian Ladies' College moved from Ashfield to Shubra Hall.
Between 1891 and 1948, Croydon Park was served by a tram line. The depot was in Tangara Street. The Western Suburbs Cottage Hospital was opened in 1894 on the corner of Brighton Street and Liverpool Road. A local campaign had raised funds for the land purchase. When the hospital opened, it was free of debt. The hospital closed in 1994 and was demolished. A new health facility was later built on the Liverpool Road frontage. In 1900, the Central Mission Home for Neglected Children at Willamaloo moved to a property in Croydon called Dalmar, which inspired the name of the service which cared for children. By 1923, having outgrown the Croydon property, it moved to Carlingford. The southern side of Croydon remained largely undeveloped until the early 20th century. The Malvern Hill Estate, a 1909 subdivision, was designed as a model suburb with wide tree-lined streets and Federation-styled houses. Part of the development was the Strand, a broad shopping street lined with Canary Island palms. The post office was constructed in 1913. The foundation stone for Malvern Hill Methodist Church was laid in 1911. The official opening took place at the following year. Brick gates commemorate those who served in World War II. Today, a uniting church. After Malvern Hill Church opened, the Methodists in North Croydon rebuilt their church in Bay Street. Today, the site of uniting Woodfield Croydon Independent Living. When the Sintra estate was subdivided, part of the development in Brady, Fitzroy and Rosa Streets was a collection of 20 concrete houses built by the Camerated Concrete Company. In 1905, Concord builder Henry Arthur Goddard patented a method of using aerated reinforced concrete that was less dense than regular concrete but retained its structural strength. This allowed concrete panels to be made and formed into camerated or cavity walls. Sydney Missionary and Bible College, an independent evangelical interdenominational college, was founded in 1916 by C. Benson Barnett. Its goal was to train people for ministry in Australia and abroad. Today there are two campuses, one in Badminton Road, the other Croydon Avenue. The foundation stone of Croydon Park Methodist Church was laid in 1918. The original church dated from 1884. The Deluxe Theatre opened in 1921 at 2 Meta Street. The projection box was built out over the theatre's cantilevered street awning. It closed in 1960 and was a roller skating rink until 1968. Burwood Municipal Council purchased the property. During 1970, the theatre was demolished. The Croydon Park Theatre opened in early 1922. It was a reverse theatre, having its screen at the front entrance end of the building. It was remodelled in 1934. After closing in 1960, it was converted to a carpet store. The foundation stone of Holy Innocence Church was laid in 1924. The following year, a Catholic primary school opened. The church was partitioned into classrooms with pews used as desks. Two properties on the corner of Cheltenham Road and Queen Street were purchased by the Education Department in 1924 for an intermediate high school for boys and a domestic science school for girls. At the end of 1927, the boys' school was transferred to Summer Hill. The Queen Street site became a girls' secondary school. The Imperial Hall at Croydon Park dates from 1926. Mandama on George's River Road was gifted to the Church of England in 1934 by the Button family. It became a Church of England hostel for girls, founded by Marion Annette Grant, Nee Button. It was renamed Bat Ha Gra, which comes from her maiden name and her two married names. Currently, residential accommodation for students of Moore Theological College. The Royal Hotel on the corner of Hennessy and College Streets became the Croydon Hotel in 1939. Today, PLC Centre for Art, Design and Technology. 
A church in Belmoral Avenue, Croydon Park, was built by a Presbyterian congregation in 1884. In the 1930s, it became a Catholic church. Today, St John the Baptist, Antiochian Orthodox Church. Tooth and Company took over the Croydon Park Hotel in 1931. The Golden Crumpet Factory was located opposite Croydon Park Primary School. When liquidated in 1986, it was bought by Tip Top. After World War II, Croydon became a favoured destination for immigrants. All Russian Saints Church was established in a house in Chelsman Avenue. In the 1950s, a house in Brady Street became the headquarters of the German Catholic Church in Sydney. The church purchased the Congregational Building in Elizabeth Street in 1972, which became St Christophorus Church. The Croydon Masonic Hall is now the Imar Youth Charitable Association Hall, owned by a Lebanese Maronite charitable organisation. The Malvern Hill Estate was declared a conservation area in 1986. The unique character of Croydon is now largely protected by conservation areas and continues to be an attractive and desirable residential suburb. If you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. And check out our website, stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com. Visit us the first Saturday of every month from 1.30 to 4.30 at 187 Princess Highway, St Peter's.